So today we are on the second largest city of Albania. It was founded by the Greek in the 7th century called Epidamnos, but over the years the name evolved into the city name Dures. People believe that Dures comes from the ancient Greek word Dirachium, which actually means hard to access. And that is because Dures is completely surrounded from three sides by the ocean. So now we are heading to Freedom Square in the city center and we're going to explore more about this city. Like filming so quickly because Mike wanted to eat quickly. We headed to the main square, we wanted to pass by the amphitheater, and this one is closed at the moment, so we're headed to the main square instead. So basically, that's what is left from the amphitheater that yeah. hosted 7,000 people in the previous days. 15 even. 15,000 people. Yeah, I don't know how. Doesn't matter how, history is a history. <laughs> but there's nothing left of this place, that's the whole story. So I don't think uh, you get so excited to visit it because it's closed and there's nothing left from it. Well, there we is were... tunnels, but we couldn't enter. Indeed, we were excited for those tunnels. But what do you think the tunnels have? Yeah, well, it's just underground tunnels. Wow, <laughs> yeah, okay. That was what I was curious about. <laughs> well, next, the main square of uh, Duras. This reflects the view of the European Union. This is why we pay to Brussels. That's, you pay tax for this. <laughs> the whole country pays tax, or not tax, they just put it in the, the European Union jar and then they decide what to do for this, some countries and this is the result. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I pay tax, why we pay taxes. <laughs> this feels like a scam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it represents the European Union. I mean, wow, right? That was basically indeed the things they do. Yeah, it was funded by the EU. Oh my God, that's, that's Amazing. ridiculous. We arrived yesterday to Dures and we book a really nice apartment. We also had for breakfast in the morning, not morning, but <laughs> it was really nice breakfast at this restaurant that we ate. Also just took a break at home and then in the night we went to a really nice fish restaurant and we ate for the first time raw fish. It was raw shrimps, different types. It was good but not <laughs> the best choice but uh, yeah the all the other foods that we had there it was amazing then we went to a sweet place where we ate crab and had a really nice time and now we're headed to the main square but first we want to see the MP theater from uh, the highest point which is up there they put like four security at one door also yeah <laughs> they could just close the gate right <laughs> yeah but people could still jump so as you can yeah. see that man in black there and these people over there on the other side in black as well they're here to protect the, the amphitheater so nobody can enter uh, because it's closed but anyway, from the outside, there's nothing interesting about it. But maybe the bunkers or like the tunnels inside have some uh, interesting history or something. But for now, we're gonna pass on that. And uh, yeah, I don't see a reason why would you put a security guard onto a place where you just see it on the internet and people want to come to see it, but on site, it's, uh, yeah. What Not so that? interesting. <laughs> it's just ruined also too much. Like I can indeed see that this was this amphitheater, but I just miss the whole vibe of it. Yeah. Because yeah, it's in the middle of the center and it's great that they protect it, but on the other side it's also a bit too much ruin to actually feel that vibe that it used to be yeah, an indeed. amphitheater and that there are gladiators and 
you know, people fighting there and that, that you don't feel. There's nothing from it yeah, left, they, so it's over, bye-bye. Just some stones, really, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. So far what we've seen from the city, it is nice historical, but at the same time it is uh, so touristic. Yeah, there's a lot of hotels and restaurants. It's like Tirana, but smaller, basically. Yeah, indeed, but much beautiful than Tirana. You don't know. So we're in the middle of Freedom Square, the city center of Dures. And we are surrounded here by the town hall, a mosque, and the amphitheater is also behind us. You also see like lots of fountains here, palm trees, and lots of Albanian flags. Because Freedom Square actually got its name from the Albanian people to express the struggle with getting their freedom and independence. Talking about Freedom Square, there's a really interesting story about Duras because in the World War II it was invaded by the foreigners for the first time in 1939 and it was occupied by the Italian forces. By the dictator Mussolini, they took Duras and they want to use it as a main point to invade all Albania and occupy it. And this is where all the Albanian people, especially people from Duras, went to protest peacefully against that occupation and fighting for their freedom and independence peacefully. So this picture is actually in the 1939 when the invasion happened. And that was the city hall that we saw a few minutes ago there in the city uh, main square. Looks still the same, right? The city yeah. hall. And that is the... That's the Venetian Tower. The man in the statue represents the man goes by the name Mujo and he was one of the bravest men of Albania. He stood up for his country, specifically in Flore, when uh, the invasion of the Italian occupation started. And also he was a surgeon in the Navy by then. And he died during the invasion when they were fighting against a really big amount of Italian military. It's one of our last days and in the first place we skipped Dures, but I'm actually glad that in our last days we still had a small space for this city because it's actually a pretty funky city. You see a nice mix of modern buildings, like there's lots of hotels, so it is pretty touristic. Also nice restaurants and of course it's surrounded by the sea, so the seafood here is really amazing. But on the other hand, you also see lots of history still in this city. So if you are in Albania, then I would definitely recommend you to just go here for a day, stroll around the city. You can easily visit the main square and see everything that this city has to offer and end your day with a great seafood restaurant. So we are sitting next to the main square at the shore watching the sunset and then we realized we see an island behind us which is actually Italy. After searching for around 50 to 20 minutes for this place, we finally 
found it. And of course, we have here our favorite hidden gem finder, Alcala. She always finds the best restaurants and the best spots for us. And now we're sitting in that restaurant, which is called Illyrian Garden. It's basically a lounge garden on top of the building. So it's the last roof with a nice music and a good environment. So you can have your cocktails and your food. So we're gonna test the food and the cocktails and show you. That's the woman I was talking about. What's your name again? And here you can look at beautiful city. I specifically chose this place because it's lots of plants, a great view, and it's not so touristic yet. People cannot really find it. You have to take an elevator. It's hidden in like an alley that you first need to find. And it looks a bit weird from the outside. Like I'm not really sure if you're gonna enter a lounge or a cocktail bar, but we made it here. So now let's hope the cocktails and the food is good. Did you say? He's tasting it now. They do it with a straw. They do it, then thumb, and they taste if it's good. What do you think is good? Well, I see him getting it on the in the plate now, and he's walking to us. <laughs> he's always excited for cocktail. <laughs> always. <laughs> yeah, he's coming to us now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's my favorite cocktail. What is that? Porn star martini. Yeah. But it's really nice. I like it. It's just a different version than what I used to drink for porn star martini. Which makes it special. Yeah, indeed. Because it's a bit less sweet, which I actually really like about it. It's like super fruity and fresh. So what also make this place special is sitting on this big chairs. I feel like a king here. <laughs> look, how do I look? King. Hey. Yeah, it's so comfy and they're so nice. I am impressed. We haven't ate uh, fast food in a month, but these guys it look so nice with the drink. What do you think about the burger? It's really good. That is the second cocktail. Espresso martini. Lab mojito. Today is our last day and uh, we are going to give away the car. Uh, well, actually the guy is going to check it today to see if there's any problem. Hopefully there is not because we checked it already and cleaned it. And tomorrow we're gonna drive it in the morning to the airport and uh, we can uh, leave the car there by the airport. This company that uh, yeah we rented the car from, they're really nice. And yeah, he's always checking if everything is okay, blah, blah. And the guy is really helpful. Now uh, he's, he's driving to check the car here so we can tomorrow drive it to the airport and leave it there and uh, yeah. We're gonna take back the, the deposit that we put on the car. We took a really nice apartment and today we're leaving midnight at four, which is not so nice, but uh, we have no other choice. Anyway, um, yeah, we have a really nice apartment here. Very, very big apartment we took that we're not going to use because we're not gonna be here. <laughs> we're staying here for now. We're gonna check the car and then go eat somewhere nice and then yeah come back home and pack all our bags to get them ready to travel so yeah how do you feel about leaving albania baby uh i don't know i'm a bit tired so we did so many things here which was really great but i'm also keen to rest a bit but yeah i'm gonna miss it the food it's cheap like the you know, the nature. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it.